navigation equipment, sound signaling devices, and sound signaling appliances. The sound signaling device and the sound signaling appliance is intended to signal or alert other boaters of your presence in restricted visibility or in an emergency situation. Boats under 12 meters, that's 39 feet 4 inches, without a fitted sound signaling appliance must carry sound signaling devices. Unlike sound signaling device, the sound signaling appliance is an integral part of the boat and must be affixed to it and in good working order. And sound signaling device can be a P-less safety whistle, a compressed gas horn, an electric horn, a gong, or a bell. Just to point out, whistles with a P inside of them are not regulatory as they will not work when water gets into them. Navigation lights. The navigation lights installed on the pledge craft show which type of boat is on the water. While navigating at night or in restricted visibility, when you encounter another pleasure craft, the color of the lights which are visible from the other pleasure craft will help you determine who has priority. You must be aware of the mandatory navigation lights that are required from sunset to sunrise. Navigation at night without navigation lights is dangerous to the other vessels in your immediate area. They must also be used in reduced, poor visibility. Example, fog. Before heading out, make sure your vessel has the proper navigation lights and that all lights are in working order. Other vessels depend on your navigation lights to avoid collisions. Navigation lights and shapes vary based on the type and length of your boat and the distance in which navigation lights can be seen depends on the size of the vessel. Radar Reflectors a radar reflector can enhance your safety on the water, but only if it's big enough and well placed on your boat. Reflectors help larger vessels spot smaller boats on their radar screens, which is often the only way to see you. When buying a reflector, there is no substitute for size, so buy the biggest one that is practical for your boat. Height is also very important, so also keep this in mind. Reflectors should be placed above all superstructures and at least 4 meters above the water if practical. Magnetic compass. A magnetic compass will help the operator of a pleasure craft find direction. The compass is essential to navigation, especially when visibility is reduced. A magnetic compass is influenced by the proximity of metal and or electrical devices which could provide inaccurate information. Furthermore, it is important to keep a magnetic screwdriver, keychains, flashlight, and other magnetic materials at a distance from the compass. Charts. Charts are graphic representations depicting areas of water, depicting the depths, underwater hazards, traffic routes, aids to navigation, and adjacent coastal areas. They are intended primarily for mariners to assist navigation and are published by the Canadian Hydrographic Service, Department of Fisheries and Oceans. They are used as navigational aids. Topographical maps. Topographical maps are maps of the land area depicting natural and artificial features of the land, including elevation contours, shorelines, rocks, land features above water, and planimetrical features. They are primarily intended for the use of the general public on land and are published by National Resources of Canada and some provincial authorities. They are sometimes used where there are no charts available, but do not show underwater dangers, navigational aids, the channels, nor the anchor zones.